back here at Unoccupy Albuquerque, and I have a, uh, some, somebody up here to talk to. Um, she prefers not to be seen on camera, but we'll be able to get her voice. She has some information regarding that situation we reported on last night where um, the police were attempting to harass a lot of the people who were jaywalking. Um, all that film footage, you know, the silliness of having 16 police cars and two bicycle cops, you know, to, to arrest like one jaywalker. Anyway, um, she has some information regarding an official city document that comes out from one of the council people. And um, in this document, I, I think she said that um, it's regarding how the police are, from this point on, allowed to um, interact with the unoccupier. So I'll just let her speak for a moment. So what exactly did you hear about the document? Um, what information, like, exactly or approximately what, what is it regarding? Um, is, it a, is it an official um, directions from the councilman to the police and how to, or maybe you should just tell the story like you told in, in the gathering. Yeah, actually, the my understanding of the proclamation is really a proclamation in solidarity with the 99% here in Albuquerque, in the state of New Mexico, and across the nation. So this is our city council standing up in solidarity for the 99%. But yesterday, we had a huge police force come down on the unoccupy Albuquerque camp, and they threatened people with arrest for jaywalking. Quote, unquote, jaywalking. And so two occupiers or two people that are here at the Unoccupy Albuquerque camp were targeted and moved to Yale and there was a huge police force that came. I'm sure you'll see footage later. 16 police cars. 16 police cars and a helicopter. So city councilor Ray Garduño was able to come on site and see this police force and intimidation factor and was able to get in touch with the higher ups in the city and have the police chief calm down his force and to have them pull out and pull back. So they stopped harassing people, but it was something that Ray Garduño was able to help and hold the police force accountable. And so we're asking people to show up at the city council meeting tomorrow to support this resolution that is in solidarity with the 99% and also to speak about the intimidation factor that the APD pulled yesterday and asked them to work with us because there is a city ordinance that is supposed to support organic, spontaneous marches like the one of the 99%. There you have it, Snowy. Direct from the horse's mouth, as they say. We appreciate you coming over. We understand that you didn't really want to be on camera, but the fact that you were here and brave enough to actually give the information to our viewers, greatly appreciate it. Thank you so much. And thank you again for bringing the actual documents that we could actually show it to everybody online. That's Absolutely. awesome. So there you go, Snowy. I mean, you know, as much as they want to, as much as they try to, they can't shut us up. And we ain't going nowhere. And of course, we are the unoccupiers.